Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday around noon, uh, New York time. Uh, guys, I'm sorry we got a delay with the video. Is because uh, we have an issue with uh, with YouTube when we load in the video. So let's go with a weekly video update, guys. Very easy. Uh, we've been saying for the last week that do not chase the U.S. dollar move. Uh, we still believe that the U.S. dollar have more winners to come. The thing is that. What we recommend to you guys is don't take long positions. In other words, do not, if you're gonna trade a short trade on the US dollar, because we still believe that the trend is to the weak dollar, take the trade with a small stop. Uh, the US dollar is very weak, and like I say, we believe that it's gonna keep going, uh, getting weak for the next week, but we see a lot of uh, structures within the, within the market that they're showing 10 minute move. We, what we mentioned 10 minute move, we're referring to uh, ending diagonals or triangles. In this case, all we see are ending diagonals. So uh, the, the thing is, if you're gonna short the dollar, try to short it after three ways bounce, do not chase it, and try to do it with a small stop or a defined risk. Okay, guys, so this is the US dollars on the, uh, on the daily charge and uh, some people are laboring this at the end as the, as the end of wave three on the dollar if we look on the weekly but we believe that this is a wave five unless we see this move going and make a new low why because for us this is a three ways move right here and this can be forced and become a five if we do a b one two three four five i, I take that but this is where my issue is because for me this move right here is nothing more than in, than in three way we see a b c a b and c now what we say is that the rsi look guys the rsi in this move the rsi do not show divergency between this low and, and this low, it was a little divergency right here, but we believe that divergency comes within the way C of the ABs or the W. In this move, there is no divergency. So this is a huge move and not showing divergence at this stage. And the biggest correction is on the middle. We believe that this is a three wave move. Not only that, if we look this right here, we notice that in the RSI, there is no divergency in this move. So if this is wave one or three, and saying that this is wave five and the US dollar to take place, there should be divergency in this move and there is no divergency. So for me, this is a three wave move that it should end, it should end soon. Now, in the weekly chart, this is the weekly chart. In the weekly chart, it should run positive one to up to 70, 75. And there is going to be three ways out, three ways down, and a flat, and a huge, brutal, short squeaks in the dollar to the outside. That aligned pretty well with the S&P, with all those, with the Canadian dollar, all those pairs, they're calling for a, a move on the risk aversion to come. And this extra to the flat comes, goes pretty well with it. So that's our principal count. Now, let's check the US dollar in the daily. Let me find out here, US dollar daily, things. and I show you the inside on the daily on the US dollar. This is the daily on the US dollar. We were seeing, we were believing that 73, 30 area should be the case. It didn't happen. It kept going lower. So now the next level is 72.59. If it pass 72.59, then we're gonna go to the 70.50 area soon so that's why guys now let's say the way that you should trade it is we should get a bounce around 72.59 and from there if the bounce is in three you sell it again if the bounce gets to five that's the bottom all right guys so that's it for the u.s dollar now let's see the, the the euro index this is the weekly euro index five ways down three ways back we're spreading the area around 114.25 to create 
some type of resistance or trap or or create a bounce or a drop we can see from here one two three four five and then the inside of this five you have to go to the daily and you see that this inside looks one two three way four taking place with another high that's where we believe it's gonna take place in the Europe now let's go to the individual pairs let's start with the pound a, a ending diagonal by the book somebody called me yesterday or sent me an email <laughs> a, guy, a, a, a client sent me an email asking me why we labor in an ending diagonal and why we are not laboring as a one two three four and a five because it's not a five wave move guys this is an ending diagonal the reason why is look this is a four hour chart and we see from here to here we see seven ways we see it. one two three four five I'm sorry one two three four five six seven seven way is corrective this is a five wave move right here look one two three four five so this is a seven way seven way is corrective so this is one and then we got two and then from here we got one two three four five six and we're gonna get seven ways so we are expecting that the pounds to get strong to around 167.78 possible on Monday Sunday and then a drop or a bounce on the dollar before another trade higher but don't get me wrong guys this is a 10 minute move and this 10 minute move is gonna create a huge drop in the pound now let's go to the euro swings. Euro swings again. We got five, three back in the way of, of, of flat in wave B because it's A three. This is A. And this is B that he did a flat when he did three here. We did three here, uh, three here, and then he did five here. So this is a flat that goes to the 1.236 percent of the proposal wave A, B and within wave B and now we are in wave B down. Now this wave B should end either around this area or possible we can get another marginal low but I think that this low should be respected and then from here we should go this way. Now if we look on the 15 minute chart within the wave C we have this is the this is that the wave B we got A O one B and then within C look at the divergency that we have in the RSI that's telling me that this move from here is getting close to the end and we should get a bounce in three ways. Now let's get back again to the 60 minute chart. There is a there is a scenario, there is a count that this can be a truncated way C. That happens, guy, almost less than 2% in the real market. Either way, do not worry about the, the trade. Why? Because in that scenario, this can be A, this can be B, and this can be C. And then we go one, two, three, it's gonna be a way four. We're gonna notice if that's the case with a way four, and we're gonna close the trade in case that that's, that happens. All right now let's go to the euro the euro against the dollar we believe that there's still more to the outside we believe that this is the structure again a b c w a b c y a b and we are in wave five wave five if we look on the daily here we see one two and possible we see the area around 150 60 say 151 to be the top but we don't call it a top. We just trade it as it is, and then, it, and you have to trade it like we say at the beginning, guys. By cycles, do not pick on create illusion that that's the top. That's how we laboring. We labor it one, two, and then we are in some type of wave three. When we got one, two, three, possible by Sunday, this move looks like a three way here. So possible by by Sunday. We're gonna get a low below the previous low, which is 147.77, before the bounce take place. All right, so that's what we see under the euro dollar. 
okay the euro pound the euro pound also it's telling you that the move is not completed why because everything is treated right here and then we got a b c w a b c s a b and then dc wave should end above this level right here which is 89.41 the highest we got 89.37 so if we look at the one hour euro pound let me look at here pretty fast it is too much to cover guys it's not possible to do it in a 15 minute chart to be honest with you in the 15 minute time frame it's impossible right look this is the euro pound the euro pound looks like a clear five right here this is a wave five looks one two three four five this is one a two and then right here looks like one two three four and five right here this is an ending diagonal in my opinion and then this can be a steer part part of wave four when we got a and three b and z down so this trend line should hold and then from here we should see another move to minimum 189.69 area now let's see the swigs the swigs is calling also for the ending diagonal and those ending diagonal guys th this those are the brutal structure in the in the forex in the LA way why because when that ending diagonal ends the reaction the squeeze that we got is totally brutal you're gonna see a dollar rally like you're gonna see it I know that's gonna happen you're gonna see it okay this is the, the, the dollar switch it goes one two and then we go five downs in a b one two three four five in c three way four and then we got five here in a b and then now we're gonna concentrate in this area because this should be the this should be the end of either the home move or the end of wave three of the diagonal so this this calling for the bounce in the dollar now let's put on the 15 minute charge you guys gonna see it now this from here it goes one two one two right here right and then the three the four the, the five and we believe that another low to our around 86 20 is coming how we believe it because of this look if you take the second nest right here it was it went to the 2618 right there 3802 and then this low right here is related to this one right here it goes exactly to the 326 percent now now from there we see we believe that it is this is the high that is in place we believe that it's gonna be a, a recover to around 8670 in three weeks and then it's gonna drop again to here it's gonna drop to 8620 before the reaction higher so this calling that this pair is very close to the end and then that's gonna tell me that the euro I believe that got more to the outside and that's telling me that the euro switch is gonna issue trade higher so guys uh, at the end it's very simple look they also the cat is showing an ending diagonal the gen pairs I believe the gen is gonna get strong in a way C that we proposing before going getting weak again this is the this is the cat in the four hour we see it one two three four I'm sorry one two three four and then within wave five we got one two possible three right here and back, back in three right here four and a five another ending diagonal in the dollar so guys very easy the dollar is gonna continue to get weak it's in the final stage or the move that started since January and we say that do not chase it just trade it to the short side but you have to trade it in the smart way do not force a, sh a trade do not hold position against the dollar and do not hold position this is not time guys for those traders that like to open the stock do all the things this is no time for that this is time when you guys should be a smart trade all right guys so I believe that a cycle is coming to the end the dollar is, 
he's gonna find a bar on some place maybe this week or this in the, in the week after at some moment the door is gonna find a bounce and it's gonna bounce and it's gonna reverse all this month thank you